What is up people? Today we're diving into add-on support for Ashes of Creation and what you can expect from the game with Intrepid Standpoint, and how they are appeasing to a larger audience with their vision. But before we get into this, remember, 84% of you are not subscribed. So subscribe, because you like Ashes of Creation content, or else why would you be here? Except for this guy, he doesn't like Ashes of Creation content. And for those of you who say I shouldn't be asking for subs in the comment, well, the math don't lie. But I did add this nice convenient skip the intro chapter for all of you who don't want to see the intros because some people don't like intros. Anyways, we are just going to rip that band-aid off. All of you damage meter using people out there. Sorry, but you can't in Ashes of Creation. Intrepid has a very firm, no add-ons allowed standpoint within Ashes, and honestly, I am completely fine with it. Damage meters ruin games. Yes, it's nice to see who in your raid isn't putting out so you can replace them with a warlock, but they also create toxic environments for casual players who may not have the time or dedication to their class that a high-end raiding party might expect of you. So when you take away that ability to see what everyone is doing everyone is back on the equal playing field where you can go back to yelling at the kid for wearing all greens trying to sneak into your party <laughs> but add-ons aren't just about damage meters intrepid has a vision of how they want ashes to be and any number of add-on types could all of a sudden take away from that vision for the developers and the player ashes isn't supposed to be an easy casual walk in the park that has you just following arrows to where you need to go having the game hold your hand the entire way no it's going back to those more old school ways where you actually have to read and figure out what the next steps of the quest are, perhaps even having to google how exactly to accomplish that thing that you are doing. There will be no taking you to the exact spot you need to go and putting a giant arrow over the head of the guy you need to find. There won't even be your traditional exclamation points over NPC heads for you to figure out who has the next quest. Things will be more subtle and although not making it extremely challenging, it's still not breaking the immersion either and making it a bit more than just just pointing you in the next direction. And if add-ons were allowed, they could very easily take away from this with quest finder add-ons that put back in all of those things that Intrepid has worked so hard to avoid. So break out those internet guides because you're gonna need them. For those of you who use more visual add-ons that change up your UI and all of that, don't stress because the UI for Ashes of Creation is said to be completely customizable. Changing up where the minimap, chat, action bars, targeting, and all of that are, and even changing the size, color, and font of text as well on the screen, giving players a very large amount of control over how they set up their UI, and there won't be that one-size-fits-all approach like most MMOs, but instead will give the player a chance to mess around with it until they find something that they enjoy and works for their playstyle. There will also be leaderboards in Ashes, so although you won't be able to track exactly what the damage or healing your raid members are doing in that exact moment, you will be able to see where players stand across dungeons, raids, PvP, guild wars, castle siege, and arenas on leaderboards, along with their achievement ranking as well. Intrepid plans on having Ashes be a one-stop shop when it comes to in-game systems and not having to rely on add-ons of developers altering the game files to make things easier or more efficient for you. They want those systems, except for damage meters, to be built into the game in a way that doesn't break what the world is all about. And unfortunately, this may turn away some players because in a lot of ways, the gaming industry is too casual these days and players are used to having their hands being held, showing them the entire way to go. But hopefully Ashes is good enough and those players can overlook those small things and go back to a more old school feeling of how things were done. I do hope though that Intrepid is looking into some of the more popular add-ons across games as well that they could implement into their actual systems to help improve Ashes of Creation as a whole. A lot of add-ons are great additions to games that more devs should really look into to actually improve the overall experience, such as a lot of the organizational add-ons with bad and banks and all that that should really be in the game from the start. They could also look into certain features from like deadly boss mods to help alert players of certain events that are happening, but you don't want too much of that because you don't want to ruin the boss fights and the challenge around these boss fights. What are your thoughts on the lack of add-on support for Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to do so using my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.